Hi, I'm Catherine Casapivis. Today I will be telling you how I made my children's picture books um, using Word and the app called Procreate. Procreate is a great artistic app that can be used um, on your iPad with the iPad Pencil. It has great potential to for you to create many types of art forms. So this is my book called The Universe's Birthday Cake. This is my other book called The Rainbow Comet. Here's the back of it. The Universe's Birthday Cake, here's the back of it. It says copyright by Katie Casapitas. And right there you can see that it says not for resale because that is my author's copy. So I published these on Amazon.com so you can find them on Amazon. Um, the paperback and the Kindle version. So publishing your books on Amazon is great because anyone can do it and it's free. Absolutely free. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I don't want to create a book because I don't think it's going to be published. I don't think anyone's going to like it. Nope. All you got to do is go to Amazon Publisher and there you go. Free book that is available to anyone and you can make it any price you want. So yeah, enjoy my video and thank you. So here is my books, The Rainbow Comet and The Universe's Birthday Cake. You can see them um, published on Kindle Direct Publishing, and they're live. You can see live Kindle and live paperback. This is how they look like on Amazon.com. You can get the Kindle version and the paperback version. Here's the preview. You click on the book picture and you can preview the cover and the first couple of pages of my picture uh, children's book. There's the back cover. Here's my other one, The Universe's Birthday Cake. Kindle and paperback version. Here's the cover and the first couple of pages preview. And there's the back cover. I wrote copyright 2019 by Catherine Casapides. Now this is how I did my artwork for the book. I used Procreate. It's a app and I used my iPad pencil and drew it on my iPad. Pick a new project, you can pick any size paper that you want. And then you draw with the iPad pencil or you can draw with your finger. Here I'm using just a marker, um, see inking, gel pen. Now I'm changing it to the Orient brush, changing it to red and just doodle and do whatever artwork you want. Now I'll show you a example of one of my pictures that I have drawn for my upcoming book. And so this is what you do next. You take a screenshot. See, I took a screenshot. Um, you save it to your photos. Once it's saved to the photos, you go to your camera, crop it. You crop the picture exactly to its dimensions. And then you save that. Once it's saved, you share it with yourself. You send it to yourself in email. And you send it. Once it's sent, you open your email and you download the picture on your computer. Now, when you're in your computer, you go to Word. You hit the Layout tab. I picked um, a certain margin setting, so the smallest one, so that you can fit as many um, pictures on the page as you can. Then you go to where you saved your image and you insert 
the image. And once it's inserted, you need to size it correctly. So I'll show you some of the dimensions that I used to size it. Um, and you just play with the, the sizing of the picture. Um, so on Kindle Publishing, um, Amazon Kindle Publishing .com, you when you um, download the file there to publish it, you need the pictures at a perfect um, dimension. So this is why I um, this is why the size settings are so important. So the height, width, and um, rotation need to be good um, in line with text. Um, best to pick behind text. The important part is choosing the height, width, scale. Always don't pick lock aspect radio. Always pick um, the one right below that. You do this by left clicking and scrolling down to um, size and position. And then you go to position and the horizontal and vertical are very important. Um, absolute to the right of margin, absolute position below margin is what I use. And here are some of the measurements that work for me. But sadly, I lost the actual measurements because I did record this video while I was making the book, but for some reason it recorded the length of time, but the screen was black, and actually that's an issue with that recording program. A lot of people <laughs> end up with a black screen, so that was kind of a tragedy, um, sad face. So now I'll show you how you can put the text in your children's book. So you go up to insert. You scroll over to text box, click on that, and there's lots of different options. So let's see, let's do simple text, and then you can write whatever you want. So I'll write once upon a time, um, dot, dot, dot. Um, so it's good, you can click um, in front of text, whatever, um, just play around with it and see what works for you. You can, you uh, left click, you can scroll over and pick um, the font, font sizes, um, the color, go up um, to the bar. Um, under shape format and fill color. Let's see um, the background. You can do black, green, yellow background. Any background you want. You can also um, pick your font color. There's effects too. There's the watercolor. Here is a text outline. Here's the border outline. There's even text effects, um, which I used for the color of my book. Um, here's a glow effect.
So now I'll show you how to get to Kindle Direct Publishing. The easiest way is to go to Google. And then you search by using the keywords Amazon Publishing. Now don't go to the first or second. Go to Amazon Kindle Publishing. Um, you make an account and you go to bookshelf and for today's video I'll show you how to make the paperback you click paperback you can choose a title so for my example will be the rainbow comet so I'll just combine those two for my example So yeah, there's my two paperbacks on Amazon. So under author, you put your name. And if you have any contributors, you can put their names, like maybe someone who helped inspire you or, or helped with your book. Under description, um, so my descriptions are like three to five paragraphs long. Descriptions actually help customers find your book. The more keywords, the better. So you can click I own the copyright or this public domain work, um, which is anyone can have it or you're, it's not copyrighted. So here is how you copyright your book. You go to copyright.gov. Amazon recommends that you use at least seven keywords, but you can put as many as you want until it runs out of room. So for the universe birthday cake, I decided to write space, time travel, shrink, grow, big, small. Because these words relate to um, my book. For the rainbow comet, I wrote rain, black and white. Because the rainbow comet is about um, clouds that come and bring color to the world after a comet comes. Then you choose your category. So since mine is a children's picture book, I picked, I clicked on juvenile fiction. And then does this book contain like cuss words? You hit no, this is a children's book. And then you hit next. Um, your book will be assigned an ISIN ID. You pick your publication date, which you can pick any date. You can decide, oh, you're not going to publish it until a couple months from now. Now, here's the important part. You pick your trim size for your book. And this is where it gets tricky. You have to pick the right dimensions for your book that you created on Word. So if your dimensions don't work, just keep... Uh, doing like trial and error going back to word and picking different dimensions until it works with the dimensions that you picked on um, Amazon publisher you can also pick no bleed or bleed bleed means it goes um, past the edges no bleed means that it doesn't you can also pick matte or glossy I picked gloss and then you upload your book now for cover creator, um, either you can make your own cover on Word or you can launch your cover creator, which um, I used. It's very helpful. So once everything is ready, you can click next and go on to the pricing and whatnot. I wish you luck on your children's picture book creation and thank you so much for watching.